and I was warned about our famous ghost, the Grey Lady, but who's uh, linked with the Metropolitan Cadets when they were here. When I first come here, there's a, a long room at the top of the building where we had to have our photographs taken. And um, that seems to be the area where some of the girls have uh, felt or some seen different things from up the top of the building. Although one of the other ladies has seen someone on top of the banisters just outside of this room. Usually when it's very quiet, you'll feel someone go past you a sort of cold wind and you can even hear a rustling of a skirt sometimes when it's very quiet but you get used to it you don't take any notice it does get eerie in here it gets a little bit cold it depends on where you are actually before Christmas 05 I was polishing the table out in the hall the big oak table and that the looked up because I could feel someone watching me. And I looked up at the balcony and there was someone leaning over the balcony. I looked down and looked straight back up and it vanished. But I ran up the stairs to have a look if anyone was about. There was nobody about. It was definitely her. For the first nine months of my stay here, I, I was located on the top floor of Grosvenor Hall. Um, allegedly the the Grey Lady was a, uh, supposed to have died in the room at the top floor with the beam across just in front of the window that overlooks, overlooks Grosvenor. Um, I personally never had any experiences with it but there was, there was a, lot of, uh, a lot of talk about the Grey Lady and uh, bearing in mind that there was, there was probably about 30 or so young lads that were living up there at the time. Um, but I personally never met anybody who had actually seen her. In 1981, the police training centre at Eyshan Hall near Oxford closed and all male and female recruits from the 13 forces in the southeast of England, from Hampshire to Suffolk, and including the City of London, attended this centre for training. First visit to Grosvenor Hall was in May 1971, when I arrived on a Green Goddess bus from Hendon um, as part of the cadet training call. It was the phase two establishment for the training. Phase one was done at Hendon, phase two was done here at Ashford. I come for an interview in 1978, May, um, for a housemaid's job to work on the domestic side, um, worked uh, for that for four and a half years for the Home Office when I first come here and then if we were changed over to contract, um, which the first contract I worked for was County Cleaners, but I've always considered myself as being part of the Home Office really, although I've changed from contract to contract in the years I've been here. Oh, well I started work here in 84 but um, I've worked everywhere in here. I started working upstairs, oh, I suppose about 12 years ago, just on and off. My first visit uh, was in 1987 when I joined Kent Police. I came down here for a 15 week course um, with about 30 other students from Kent and um, I, was, I had a room in Chelmsford Block and it's completely the same then, which is about um, just under 19 years ago as it is now. And I have got um, photographs of myself and my colleague actually walking along the walls in Chelmsford. My first visit to Grosvenor Hall was in um, about August 1974, uh, which is my continuation course. Uh, in those days, we, um, we were still doing initial training at Sandgate, uh, which is a few miles down the road, uh, as a basic course. And then the follow-on, rather than the uh, post-foundation courses as they do today, we had one two-week course at about 18-month service. And that course was run for Kent officers uh, here at Ashford. I've worked in the bar for 14 years, from 77 till 1991. The accommodation blocks at are currently uh, 
over there, Oxford, Cambridge, and, and so no, Oxford, Whitelaw, uh, was the parade square area. Um, Guildford and Winchester were there. There was an accommodation block where the canteen currently is, um, and accommodation block, was, which is now Lewis, was still there, and the left wing of the solarium was an accommodation block as well. I have been here three times, once as a student. Um, the second time I came down here, I was a trainer in 1995 and um, I stayed here for about two years and I was a sergeant trainer and then I was promoted to inspector and left here as an inspector and went to Ashford Police Station. Um, so I've done the sergeant trainer role, I've done the inspector course manager role and obviously most recently as the head of training and now the head of centre. In the early 1990s, National Police Training was formed, taking over the management and running of Ashford, Bruges, Brams Hill, Cumbran, Durham, Leicester, Wrighton and Shotley Police Training Centres. I think the, when you, you actually see the end result of the students, when they pass out and the music and the bands are all going, they're special times for me. And um, the different managers I've had, we've had some nice time together, the girls, when we all worked together to help the catering staff when the Marquise was here, that was something special. When we have special visitors, they're all, all times where I've really enjoyed. I've loved it, every minute of it, every minute of it. You meet so many different people and the students, all the different students, I've enjoyed it. I've had contact with the place over uh, the past 33 years, really. Um, and I found it a very interesting place to work. I suppose quite a glaring difference to me from when I was a student here to now being the head of centre is that it's got a less militaristic feel to it. Come along, I shape rear rank, follow the front rank round. Come on. Um, there was far more marching, marching around from classroom to classroom, far more um, emphasis on sports and there isn't quite quite that emphasis anymore. Um, as a student here I used to do things like the log run and the rope run and we had cross country, um, we had athletics tournaments and things like that whereas now that's all gone due to things like health and safety. I thoroughly enjoyed myself in fact I would say probably the three years I was here as a sergeant were probably the very best period of my police service in terms of personal satisfaction. I, I really enjoy myself uh, instructing students and sending them off to police forces and I hoped equipped well to do the job and I enjoyed it so much I had the opportunity to come back as an inspector and I came back as an inspector in 79 when I did another three years here. The girls that have worked in the Grav Hall have always said wouldn't it be wonderful to come down the stairs in a ball ground? I bet it was wonderful in the old days when uh, they used to have entertain people and they'd have people here for balls and things and um, when we knew that uh, it was possible for the centre to be shut in um, I actually have a ball gown at home that I use for occasions and uh, we set up a plan that three of us would come in early on a Saturday morning because we was in to work on a Saturday and uh, we set up that we'd come in early and that we would take photos. So I brought the bowl gown in and they all brought their bits of uh, jewellery in and uh, you know set ourselves up to do it. So we made a quick plan on what we would do. So we had one dress and each one of us had to step in layers of petticoats and quickly get in and out of these ball gowns and take photos around. <laughs> take photos of us on the, on the stairwell so that we'd have them um, to keep permanently to remind of us our time here. The highlights of, uh, of my term here uh, are probably overall um, the job satisfaction I get from running the centre as I did initially as head of centre. The uh, I suppose spectacular pass out with the Duke of Kent uh, was a highlight I think for everybody, it raised the morale and, and the, the day was, it was, a, it was an excellent day. Uh, and the, I suppose every pass out was a highlight for me, um, A because of the, the moving on of the, the students we trained, uh, but the, the enjoyment of the families and the bringing together the police family, which we all enjoy and all have enjoyed.
uh, whether it's here or in our operational policing.